Find out what's hot and what's not. We watch your programme every week. Hello and welcome back to Club of Vision, your upfront dance clubby type show. Coming up, we've got the Coach Club in Ireland, but now the Touch Magazine Dance Show. Number five, we've got Jamiroquai with Faber on their ground. Number four, Mass on the Cap featuring Susie Vivian, you don't know. Number three is Maxwell, Luxury, Coco Cure. Number two, Dame Smith, Rock With You. Number one is Barbara Tucker, everybody dance to the horn song. Right, we're just outside of Belfast at the Coach in Banbridge, a club decked out to the highest quality, with two rooms hosting a plethora of Premier League DJs each week. This Saturday, pumping the house, K-Class, Anthony Papa and resident Mark Wesley. Brian here, the promoters and club owners of the coach. How long has the club been running? Uh, the club's been running as an actual disco for uh, about 20 years and as a club, a house music club, for about six years now. Okay, it's only recently that um, the club has gained more awareness with the media. Why is that? In the last year, started to bring over guest DJs from England. We felt that it was something we wanted to start and do because all the clubs in England were doing it, you know, changing their guests and stuff. So that's why we did it and um, tried to promote ourselves a bit more in the UK. So what kind of DJs do you have here? Um, basically quality house music DJs, the likes of uh, Alistair Whitehead's played, Guy Ornadell, Anne Savage, uh, Jim Shaft ran. The whole dance culture in Ireland has taken quite a ride to get to where it is. Why is that? Um, I think that uh, Northern Ireland in particular is about six months to a year behind everything England does. I think fashion, you know, music, everything, yeah. clubs. So I think it's just, it's a gradual catch up. We're always slightly behind and I think clubs now have caught up. Right, can you tell us a brief layout of the club? The club consists of three main rooms. Uh, uh, basically, a, a hardened bar drinker's room, which is, demonstrates the drinking ability of the Northern Irish. <laughs> then we have the main room, which is always pumping with house music. And then we have a back room, which includes another DJ with a certain low care music, uh, with a capacity of about 1550. God, it's quite big then, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's probably one of the biggest clubs in the country and uh, always yeah. packed. <laughs> yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Anthony Papa. I've just finished DJing at the Coach Banbridge. It was brilliant. You was born and educated in Australia. How and when did the DJ notion take over? I started DJing when I was 14 and basically kind of got bored of doing all the clubs in Australia because there's not that many. So I decided to move over to England. What sort of clubs did you play in Australia? There's one club where I started my residency called The Metro, which I was 15 and that's a four to 5,000 capacity club. Well, you started young, didn't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, I was underage playing at proper clubs, which is great. What was England offering that Australia wasn't? It's just England was so much more advanced, like, because England's got the history for, for dance music and club culture, so it was obviously the, the place to be for me to make a career of it. Because you're signed up with um, the Renaissance DJ Agency, yeah. so how well are they working for you? Uh, they've done really well. I mean, I've come over and I didn't really know anyone, so they helped me get my, my foot in the door. Where have you been? Some exciting moments. Um, in the last three months, we've been to Costa Rica, Mexico, Australia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malta, Greece, uh, <laughs> Iceland, every, everywhere, everywhere and anywhere. Yeah, it's great. Tell me about some production releases. Free Falls, the act that I record under, it's myself and my partner, Alan Bremner, and we're signed to Stress, and we've just finished a single called Skydive. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it's a vocal track that, um, that we used with, uh, we got Jan Johnson in to record the vocals. 
and um, she sounds great. She, she sang Remember with BT. What's the best thing in your career so far? Uh, just the fact that I get to travel around the world and have such a good time meeting different people and doing my job, which I love, so it's great. <laughs> It's cheap and it's great. The music, the DJ, you know, all that lot. Alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol. You like, you like a bit of a drink, do you? Oh, yes, plenty of it. It's just incredible. It's just the best place to be, really, in Northern Ireland. It's the best. We've been around all clubs, and definitely it's the best. Music is pumping to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's class. It's awesome. Everybody wants, it's what everybody wants to hear. It's absolutely brilliant to us. Have you had too many of them? Oh, boy. <laughs> We're up. A lot of dancing, brilliant. The buzz is just almighty. Dancing is brilliant. So you like dancing? Well, if you like dancing, what have you been doing standing out here for the last half hour? <laughs> Trying to get on TV. Have you pulled? Not this evening, not yet. We're ready to rock. We are ready to rock. We were born to rock. Were you? Oh, definitely. We rock every day Everybody of the week. Are up you up for it? Definitely. Everybody <laughs> is you! Completely oh. fucking full of it, like. <laughs> Do we come here every Saturday? No. no. Anytime there's a bus going from Dungan, the atmosphere and everything's brilliant. The atmosphere, cheapest place in, best DJs, best yeah, night out, best of everything. Music's good, DJs are good, good mixing, you know, it's a good evening. We love it, bounces all night, fucking brilliant. We're more into uh, happy hardcore and uh, there's only one club in Northern Ireland that does it. And, and know, what club's that then? It's called the Jordan's Town Inn. So you just go in there and just chat to anyone, can you? Uh, just yeah. come up to you and that's it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Music, the people, everything, the crack, everybody. Everybody's really into dancing and also they are. It's just really know what they're at. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. So what's so good about Saturday? Because <laughs> it's the weekend. The clubs do we go to? We go to Lush, we go to Bigos. No. Where? The arena. The Bound one. The Bound one. Kelly's tracks, Belmont, anywhere at all. But this is best. You got me, you got me. and Russ Morgan are one half of K-Class who made a notable impression on disc culture back in 89 with their first collaboration. Rhythm is a mystery and in no doubt will cause a similar riot with the new album. How did the K-Class story begin? Um, I don't know, it's just four guys who met in a club, the Hacienda in Manchester. Um, found out we all had a love of making music and decided to knock four demo tracks together. Um, we took them into a record shop, Eastern Block in Manchester, just to get their opinion on them. And they said, oh, these are great, these are. We'll put them out as they are. And we're like, oh, no, now what we're going to do, we're going to have to think of a name for a band and a name for these tracks. And it sort of took off from there, really. So how does the duo thing work? Do you play back to back? How does it work? No, it's, I don't know, we vary it up, really. I mean, we usually get the set and split it in half, and then just go in rotations, who goes first and second, depending on you know, what club we're at. Sometimes, if it's been a really good night, the last sort of 20 minutes, we'll just go one on, one off, and sort of mess around between the two of us. You always advocate great Park and Mike Pickering as source of influences. What do you particularly like about these two guys? When you used to go to Hacienda, sort of late 80s, early 90s, to listen to Mike and Graham play was it was inspirational. I mean, the crowd had a lot to do with it, but also the music that they were playing at the time was fresh. You know, it was yeah. new. It was it was different, and the way that they sort of uh, that they constructed the sets and just they used to take the place off. They used to lift the roof off, and that's just like. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. Tell us about the new album, K2. It's right across the board. It's an album that I'd like to think you could go out to dance to a majority of the tracks yeah. in a club and listen to at home. We've tried to strike a balance. New single out as well, Burning. Heard it, like it. Tell us about that. Uh, well, it's featuring Rachel McFarlane. It's uh, out on July the 22nd. And uh, we've got high hopes. I mean, it's K-Class's first single since 1994, since uh, What You're Missing and uh, we're very hopeful for it. So when are you guys going to be back out there doing it again? Very soon, actually. Um, we're starting off at one of the first cream parties in Ibiza. We're getting back up on stage behind the keyboards, which will probably be a little bit of a nerve-wracking experience. With, uh, we've got used to hiding behind a set of decks, and now all of a sudden you're going to be thrust back into the limelight on stage, which is probably going to be a little unnerving, but it's, you know, it's probably going to bring back a lot of nice memories for yeah. us as well. OK, so why did you want to experience the DJing circuit the clubs? 
I think, again, it's gone back to what you said. We used to play live a lot in the years gone by. A lot of clubs now have lost the facility to put live bands on, and it's gone very much away from that, I mean, in my yeah. opinion, because there was a lot of cheap, nasty, tacky PAs about. Rather, like? Oh, I'm not naming names, but too many to mention. People who turn up with a DAP player and two dancers and just take the rip, really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Whereas we went out and very much did a band performance and it was like, what you see is what you get. And, you know, this is a band playing live. So consequently, I think the market for that died. So we wanted to stay in touch, A, with what's happening. B, we wanted a reason to still be out in clubs yeah. every week as part of our work. And it's a great way of trying out new material. You've, you know, you've done a mix or you've done something of your own. You get it cut onto an acetate or a CD now and you can just go straight out into a club and play it the next weekend and think, oh, that works, that doesn't work, that works. So it's a really important part of sort of like our working yeah. process to detail. Do you actually party animals yourselves? I am. I'm getting, I'm getting on a bit, so I can't actually party as much as I used to, but Paul can. <laughs> We've been known to have a crack. If the coach could do anything to improve the club, what would it be? Air conditioning. So where do you live? Suffolk and Belfast. We listen to Cooley FM every side of it. Like so you like Mark Wesley then? Yeah. Do you come out for the men? Oh, I knew she was going <laughs> to say that. No, of course it's not. I'm actually going with someone for six years and I'm totally faithful. Dinger. Dinger? Yeah. Dinger, ling along? Yeah. <laughs> sing a sing along? Don't say nothing. All you go, look for the sun, you'll find it. Worship the coach, we worship it. <laughs> oh, yes. Have you got a boyfriend? No, I'm single. <laughs> I am the man, like. <laughs> Mark Wesley is brilliant. Yeah, he's the best. Okay, so what's your favourite style of music? House music. Mark Wesley's good. <laughs> Who are our favourite DJs? Mark, Mark Wesley, no. Mark Wesley, Tom. Mark Wesley. Mark Wesley. Yeah. Paul and Fold, very good man. Amazing. He's original talent. He's. He's in a league of his own. Mark, Mark Wesley. Wesley. Yeah. Mark, Wesley. Mark Wesley. Mark Wesley. What, what's so good about what he's playing? It's brilliant. It's all the latest all stuff. All favourite tunes. Yes. Eddie Ray, Tizer, um, well, what house DJs? Pete Tong, um, Judge Jules. What do you think about the half past one licence finishing? I don't like it very much. It's, it's, a, it's too early. It's, it's too early, isn't it? It's around about six or seven o'clock in this country. Oh, they party all yep, right. party afterwards, so there is. Yeah, where is it? Come and tell us where it is. My house. So what happens back at yours then? I've Dax there, going to Dax, bit of a party, but 30 people back. Plenty of drink, plenty of music, brilliant. But what are the men like in there? Brilliant. Look, just look at them, they're gorgeous, all of them. It's a brilliant place. There's nowhere else to go in Ireland but this place. Do, 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 do. Wesley, resident in the coach in Bambridge. How long have you actually been here? Because it's quite a stretch, isn't it? Uh, it's about eight years a stretch. <laughs> so what kind of set do you play down here? It's kind of a mixture between hard house, the UK stuff, and European uplifting house. So where else do you play? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere that they'll have me and offer me work. Just Freddie and I keep really for different bits and pieces. Uh, last night was in a place called McElroy's out in Oma. Small club holds about 400 people, but the people that go to it are really up for their music, so it's it's good. Played Paradise Lost in Belfast. How long are you going to stay with the coach? Until I make retirement in about five <laughs> years. <laughs> hey, right, there's a request actually that I have to ask you. How old are you? 28. Okay, thank you very much for answering that. Quick <laughs> <laughs> laughing up there. <laughs> Thank you to the US boys for coming on the show whilst over and giving us the lowdown on what's happening here and stateside. And this week, use lot, get out there clubbing, feed the fantasy, or even if it's just to meet some new people. Anyway, I think I've been chatting for far too long. You've been watching Clubbervision on ITV with me, Lisa Nash. We get around on next week's show as we visit Sugar Shack at the Empire in Middlesbrough, Movie Mento at Aquarium in London. We find out whether the Irish have a passion for fashion. M8 Magazine's dance charts, and of course, loads of you lots. Please like.
like, tag, share and subscribe. Now this is Copper Vision and this is how it's done. This is Copper Vision, Copper Vision number one.